Dr. Stone. This is Dr. Stone, chapter 167, Different Strokes. Uh, last we left off, Tsukishima, Suk I think Suk Tsukasa is his name. Sorry, I think I called him Tsukishima last time. Um, <laughs> but Tsukasa just like blasts into Dr. Zeno's lab and uh, has his like weird metal Final Fantasy VII sword right up to his neck. <laughs> It's just like ah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Doctor right Zeno, to his chest. right to his chest. It's like, yeah, we got you, and uh, he's like, how did you get here? Oh yes, a tunnel, and then he just kind of figures out they dug their way through a tunnel. Uh, there we, they like do they add like wooden, they they had the time to add like wooden supports to this tunnel as well as like dig through all that dirt in like what 25 minutes uh these are 14 year old children by the way uh and chrome emerges directly underneath a cow that speaks apparently there's a little speech bubble that says uh moo you trying to you trying to milk me <laughs> <laughs> that was really random i really <laughs> I'm, I'm for it though yeah I'm for it that was uh that was one of my favorite panels of the week already i was just like best best panel this cow is my favorite character in Dr. Stone, by the way. Um, yeah. It, the cow never talks again, by the way. It just says that and moves on with its life. Um, so, yeah, essentially, like, uh, they show the whole infiltration plan. Uh, they distract the guards, like, each team, and then that's how they got in and managed to get Zeno's whole, like, spear up in his face. Um but yeah, th their plan is essentially to light this massive bomb and use the uh, the shockwave from that bomb to propel Zeno and Chrome forward to uh, to like out of the out of the uh, the lab, so they could just escape scot free, you know, like as fast as possible. Uh, Chrome like lights it pretty early, and they and he causes a cave in in the tunnel between him and Zeno. Uh, yeah, the, the the earth fell on the other side, which I <laughs> I don't I don't really get the physics of it, so hey. nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hey. give him hell. <laughs> that we're just gonna say that was unfortunate. Yeah, it was a it was a sad thing. Scientifically unfortunate, very much so. So it's just Zeno and Chrome stuck together in this cave, uh, and both sides are trying to dig at each other to get through, um, and. Uh, they they get to know each other a little bit. Uh, Chrome fashions a shovel out of one of the wooden support beams and starts trying to dig. And uh, Chrome is like, "You should join me in in ruling the world using science." Back in the twenty first century, uh, politics, ethics, morals, politics. Those idiots stood by by stood by such worthless concepts and prevented human barely. Human yeah, I mean, we weren't great. We weren't in their great. universe, I guess. So shit was Honestly, really nice. If anything, I don't, I don't know what. <laughs> not here. That's, yeah. that's not based. That this is a for sure fictional tale, not based on our society. Yes, yeah, morals, confirmed. Morals are definitely not getting in the way of science here. Uh, definitely not. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's just like, join me, and we could be the science. We can finally rule over humanity with our big brains, and. Um, Chrome has this cool shonen moment two page spread where he's like, you know, I don't really like power either. I like being smart as well. But you know what? I'm not gonna judge nobody who wants physical power. Uh, you know. And then he manages or to that. he manages There's to room for everybody. Yeah. yeah, he manages to link up with um, Taiju on the other side, and they get free. And the chapter ends with Chrome yelling into their. Uh, makeshift cell phone that uh the target was acquired and Zeno is now in hand. Uh pretty fun chapter. I had a good time. Man, they should have called this chapter Checkmate. What was the name of it? I didn't um, see what it was. Initially. It wasn't Checkmate, I'll tell you that much. But it is now. <laughs> the chapter is called Checkmate. Like going into it it wasn't, but at the end. For sure it is now. Unanimously. Um cool, yeah. yeah. I mean I'm that not against was really interesting this week. Yeah. I like I like that Chrome, you know, was was very reliable. He he put his put the team on his back. Yeah, Chrome's uh, had a lot of like character development. He's essentially like the secondary main character, even though it was supposed to be Taiju. Um, 
<laughs> but yeah, fun chapter. Had a good time reading it. My name is Christian Espinol, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching New Jump City. If you enjoyed this podcast and you want to keep up with it, then please hit that subscribe button. If you have any general feedback for the show or just want to share your thoughts on the comics we just talked about, then drop them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you guys and start a dialogue. You should also know that we have a 49-episode backlog on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Just follow the links in the description below. And FYI, the audio version of the podcast usually comes out first. Thank you again for your support, and stay safe, New Jump citizens.